Hello guys, so it's really hope and in today's tutorial I'll be highlighting one of the questions, okay? I'll be highlighting one of the questions in one of our videos. So the person actually asked that we should make um a video, should make a tutorial on a how to model custom title block, okay? How to model custom title block in Archipad. So I'll be making a video on that particular question, okay? Like I do say at the end of every video that if you have any question, you want to drop it on the comment section. It's very necessary, okay? So if you have any question, always drop it on the comment section and I'll pick those questions and then make videos on that, okay, for more clarification. So let's dive into the tutorial without wasting much of your time. So open your Archicad page, all right? And there's something you need to note. Come to this, move your cursor to this side under this project map, okay? There's something called layout block, this layout block. Click on the layout block. And then scroll down there's something called master there's a folder called master and under this master we have four different paper sizes okay four different paper sizes the first one is a4 the other one is a3 we have a2 and also a1 and um, also a1 so it depends on the particular paper you want to print out okay so let's say you want to go with let's say a3 paper right a3 paper the first place to do your settings and the first place to do all your designs your drawing of the title block is on that particular um master paper okay these papers this these four are called the masters um papers okay these ones so let's select the a3 we will click on this a3 on this space this is the size of the a3 sheet okay and this is the default title panel okay the default title panel or you call it title block so this is where you do your write-up okay you can decide to add write things okay like from here you can decide to add your write up add whatsoever you want and you can still remove them all right you can still delete if you don't want this particular you can remove everything you can remove everything and draw that particular one you have in mind okay or better still you can edit these ones you can edit them to what you want let's say for instance you want you want to be here at the bottom side just pick your line this is line if it's under design you can't see the line make sure it's under documents okay under document so pick your line once you pick your line and then you can start drawing those your um your lines okay do the design whatsoever you want the project name project title anything you want to do depending on how you want that particular title block to look like you can add font okay you can add font type in the name anything you want let's say building any how you want it anyhow you want it so it depends on how you want that particular pattern to come out okay so and if you still want to edit the project name from here you can click on the first box here right click and select this select and activate tool it will give you a room once you click on that point it will give you a room to edit the project name okay let's say two bedroom um two bedroom bungalow two bedroom so it depends on how or let's say depends on the, the name of that particular um, project okay so these are the basic settings you can do all your settings here and for the logo all right the person asks how to insert a logo too okay let's say you have your own company logo and you want to insert it click on this default one once you click on this default one click on setting dialogs there's something called open here all right click on open and then go inside select where you save that particular logo Let's say this is our logo, all right? <laughs> Let's say this is our logo. Click on the logo once and click open. All right, once you click open, then okay. This is the logo, but you have to reduce the size of that particular logo. Then move it to the right position, all right? And for the drawing name, drawing status, you can leave this one. So once you drag that particular elevation of block line, it will give you this ones. But if you still want to set them by yourself, you can still do that. And for the scale, leave the scale for now. Once you place that particular building here or the elevation here, the scale will adjust, okay? Even the layout will adjust. The ID name will show, right? So let's do something now, which is very important. The whole of this thing you're seeing, this is the flexible part where you can actually edit, all right? So once you're done editing, this is not where you drag your elevation to. This is not where you drag your floor plan to. You understand that in a bit, okay? You understand that very soon. So, the next thing to do after doing your settings, okay? After doing your settings, don't place anything here. Move to this side, okay? You can see new layout. You can see new master layout. 
but we are not working on that new master layout okay let's click on new layout remember the name of this master layout here the one we, the one we did settings of okay the name is a3 okay so click on this new layout once you click on new layout now determine the name type in the name of that particular sheet you want to create now let's say front let's say front elevation let's say front elevation and master layout is asking us which of the master layer do you want to select okay click on this little arrow remember it's a3 which is this one you click on a3 all right then click create now you can see this is the a3 now remember you can see our um, our logo okay you can see our logo our company logo and any for any adjustment you want to do you can adjust it here you have to go back to this three this a3 which is our master layout and then select let's say let's say we want our logo to be like this okay you can see the settings now once you go back to this front elevation once you click after clicking those um after setting that new layout and you click ok it will automatically appear see the name here front elevation that is under your elevations look at the name here front elevation these other ones are just the default ones but this is the one we just created so once you click now you can see that that adjustment has been um, affected here right so now this is where you drag in either your floor plan your elevation any of the view you want to insert this is where you insert it okay so now let's go and drag one of the plan or the elevation since it's front elevation okay so now go back to this project map click on project map remember it's south elevation which is the front now drag the plan from here drag it from here to this point click it here all right so you can see we have one another one is still showing here this one is um another building okay well it looks the same so let's remove this one we don't need this one so click on this little point click on this side and then drag it inside here but make sure it's still under this um offset edge okay drag it inside hold this other side too move it inside the downside too move it inside remember i said something earlier that the name of that um the scale will appear you can see this is one is 200 and the layout id which is e03 is showing here too okay and some little little adjustment you can see the name of the drawing and uh, drawing name which is south elevation okay some default settings will appear but if you still want to change them go back to your masters okay and a3 and the settings here okay so now let me just do something quick if it's looking too tiny i want to expand the elevation click on the elevation click on this point all right there's something here this one which is stretch stretch it either downward or upward but it will affect your scaling because you've changed the mean scale all right but to affect your scaling what the the, the the size will increase okay so this is it now and let's say you're done with everything you've done your settings let's take this one up a little bit okay start elevation okay so after everything now maybe you want to convert it to pdf file what to do now is go to file when you come to file click on save as under save as for the name the file name let's say front view front view for the name and let's say page under this page option make sure it's under this a3 okay make sure it's under a3 and then click ok then remember your destination okay click on save automatically it has been saved so let's go back to our tools look at the front view here once you click it open this is it now all right so this is the settings so it depends on how you set your the title part so this is just a simple way of doing this okay this is the simple way of doing this is how to set your title block if you have any other question on this particular tutorial okay do well to drop it on the comment section okay i'll attend to you all right so see you on our next tutorial